calm down, diminished. Okay, just cool it a little bit, all right? I want to talk about diminished seventh chords and uh, how we can think about improvising over them. The scale that I just played is a fairly common one. If you, if you study uh, chord scale theory, you might know that over a diminished seventh chord, this is a C sharp diminished seventh, that you could play this uh, symmetrical eight note scale that's built uh, in alternating whole steps and half steps. So, so C sharp whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step. Uh, that's C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G, A, B flat, C, and C sharp, and we can keep going. Right? So that's that's a very sensible scale over that chord. Uh, it has these notes in it, and then it has some other notes, and it all it all makes sense, right? But um, there's a lot of color in there. There's a lot of chromaticism, and if we actually look at where you might encounter a C sharp diminished seventh chord in an actual chord progression, uh, you just you might not need that much color necessarily. So here's what I mean. This would be a common place that you would find a C sharp diminished seventh as a connector between C major and D minor. So if you were jamming and, and you had that as a chord progression over C, you're probably just going to play C major kind of stuff. Over D minor, you could really stay in the key of C. But you can't stay in the key. Like that chord progression feels like it's in the key of C, except for this passing chord. So uh, if we start in a C, in the key of C, and the D minor is also in the key of C, how do we address that diminished seventh chord? Because it's got C sharp and B flat in it. We need, we need to make some adjustments. Well, we could go to this scale, but it's got a lot of stuff in it that we don't really need. Like, we need the C sharp, but do we need D sharp? Do we need uh, F sharp, right? We do need the B flat and we do need the C sharp, but we don't necessarily need D sharp and F sharp. So let's let's try to find something that's a little more closer to home. What if we just took a C major scale and uh, adjusted it so that it's got C sharp and B flat instead of C and B? So here's C major scale uh, au natural. Here it is with C sharp and B flat. And so listen to that. It's cool. And then I don't know, I just uh, wanted to resolve that. So that's an, an option. What do we call that scale? I don't think it matters. I, I'm not trying to name it anything. It's just a C major scale with C sharp and B flat in it. And then when the chord gets to D minor, we just resolve those notes. If we're on C sharp, we'll go up to D. If we're on B flat, we'll go down to A. And that's all we need to do. So you have to you have to know where the uh, escape hatch is when you introduce that chromaticism. Uh, uh, you're going to uh, go to a, uh, a note that's back in the key. You're going to let it resolve that way. So that's that's what you want to aim for. Now, if you really do like chord scale theory and you really want to know, like I, I need a name for a, a scale that I can play there. I'm going to give you two that that you can try. Um, one is D harmonic minor. That's D E F G A B flat C sharp. Um, that's got B flat and C sharp in it. That's going to sound really good there. 
Another one is F harmonic major. Harmonic major, if you don't know, is a, is a major scale with a flat six. So here's that sound. So F, G, A, B flat, C, D flat, E, F. So listen to that. So try those out uh, over the C sharp diminished seventh. Maybe if you have a looper pedal, uh, you can make a loop and you can improvise over those three chords. Or uh, if you have iReal Pro or something like that, you could just program a little backing track for yourself and you can try those out. Uh, either way, uh, if you like having a specific scale name, you've got two. Uh, if you like just altering the C scale, I think that's going to be uh, the one that I would lean toward. Uh, if I was just on a gig and I had to deal with this, I would try to stay in the key that I'm in, which is C, and and not uh, not go somewhere far away that I don't need to go to. Just make a few adjustments, and you can you can come right back to the key of C, uh, quick and easy like that. So, calm down, diminish. We we don't need all that color all the time. Uh, use it when you hear it, use it when you like it, use it when it makes you uh, smile, but otherwise uh, keep it simple. Hey, if you liked this video, make sure that you like it, like it, and uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be posting more regularly here, so if you subscribe, you'll always know when there's a new video on the channel.